Hi students. Good morning to all. Today I am going to teach you 7th standard English unit 1 grammar determinants. Already we heard finished unit 1 prose, poem and supplementary reader. Now we are going to see about uh, determinants, grammar determinants. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Now you are going to learn about the uses of some more determinants which are often uh, troublesome to Indian learners. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there are more determinants we are using. Uh, here uh, I give uh, only few. Okay. That is some, any, much, many. Some, any, much, many. Okay. We use some uh, in positive sentence and then any in negative sentence. So, first we see some and any. Mm. Some and any which can be used with any noun. Some and any which can be used with any noun that is singular or plural, uh, countable or uncountable noun. Okay, so some and any which can be used with any noun, singular or plural, or countable or uncountable nouns. And then we use some in positive sentence. Some we use in positive sentence, and uh, we use any in negative sentence. Okay, we use some in positive sentence and any in negative sentence here i give a uh, few examples which is used to understand now i give the uh, examples of some see the picture there are some eggs in the basket there are some eggs in the basket eggs X is the countable noun. There are some X in the basket. X is the countable noun. We use uh, with the countable. Okay, countable noun. And there are some X in the basket. It's a positive sentence and also positive sentence. Okay. I would like some bread. I would like some bread. Here, bread is uh, uncountable. Bread is uncountable noun. So, here I would like some bread. So, some uh, is used in, again used in positive sentence. Now, we use any. There aren't any eggs in the basket. There aren't any eggs in the basket. So, any we used in negative sentence. Okay. Uh, any is used in a negative sentence. So, there aren't. So, aren't. It's a negative form. So, or not. Not is a negative form. So, there aren't any eggs in the basket. Now, we are going to see about much and many. In modern English, much and many are mostly used in negative and uh, questions. Okay. In modern English, much and many are mostly Usually negative and uh, negatives and questions. In positive sentence, a lot of is more usual. Usual. Okay. In positive sentence, a lot of is more usual. Here I few uh, examples. I give few uh, examples. See. Is there much rice left? So, and then uh, much and many which can be used uh, with the... Uh, Uncountable nouns. Only uncountable nouns. Ma much is used with uncountable nouns. Okay. Many uh, is used with countable nouns. Many. Listen carefully. Many which are used only with countable as well as plural countable nouns. Plural countable nouns. For example, these girls. Many girls. Many flowers. Okay. And much which are used only with uncountable. Uncountable means, uncountable nouns means sugar, water, rice, 
there is a uncountable noun so many is used with plural countable nouns and much is used only with uncountable nouns so here i give few examples see see the picture is there much rice left is there much rice left so rice is the uh, noun what type of noun is it is it it is it is uncountable uncountable noun so much is used with, used with uncountable uh, noun so is there much rice left and um, many many is used only with plural countable nouns see how much money have you got how much money have you got and i don't have many friends i don't have many friends so friends is a countable countable nouns so i don't have many friends many friends so uh, students uh, once again i repeat some and any much and many some and any is used uh, with some and any is used with any noun that is singular or plural countable or uncountable nouns okay and then some used in positive sentence any is used in negative sentence and then much and many much are used only with uncountable nouns many are used only with plural countables so children i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed and learned about determinants thank you